Hi, I'm David. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Barefoot, running people, faces of day family. David Scoggins here. Today I want to talk about crash. Crash. What is about crash? Um, did this video before one time. Um, with myself, as I run with no shoes on, I primarily run 99.9% .9 of the time with zero shoes, constantly barefooted. So when that happens, you have to get the feet conditioned and ready to go for whatever environment you're going to run into. And along with that, some body stuff as well, because What's the point, right? You want to try to minimize any inju injuries that you get when you're running out there, especially if you're barefoot. So today's exercise and series will be called Crash. So first of all, we're going to talk about the feet when you're running out here with no shoes on if you always pick your foot up put it down pick it up put it down pick it up put it down here let's show you here on this brick wall the... zero point two so if your foot hits the ground you should be picking it up putting it down up and down so when you run sometimes you get tired and you start to drag your feet like this when you drag your feet on the ground like this then you start hitting those bumps like this and that's where you get those injuries where you have an avulsion on the front of your toe cut the skin tear it tear off a toenail fracture your toes any of that stuff so what's the first thing i do in the crash drill as I talked about before, curb tapping. When your foot is like this, you're on the street, tap. One, just tap. Very light, just tap. Tap, tap the sides like this. Tap to the side, tap to the side, tap to the side, tap to the front, tap to the front. So just do that every so often, very lightly. Look at this, pull, tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. I don't know if you can hear the pole. I got a pretty good tap on that. So the purpose of that is if you're running and you should happen to lose your integrity as far as getting tired and your feet start to drag and you don't realize it, if you tap, you minimize any injuries like that. And also remember, pick your foot up, put it down. A little piston, pick it up, put it down. All right, let's talk about the next thing. So the next one is pretty aggressive. Now, being that I'm a martial artist, I'm already kind of familiar with this. Some of you may not be, but I'm just showing you this as a demonstration. If you want to have or have you more questions in reference to this, please message me on Facebook, YouTube, let me know. Zero point four miles. So let's say you're out there running and you do that and you trip and you fall. One thing I like to do, and also, I'm sorry, I got to go back over something real quick. On that toe tapping, it doesn't have to necessarily be against the curve, as you saw. You can do it against anything that sticks up. Just kind of tap your foot against something to build the resistance of the toe. 
So, we're gonna go over the next thing here. And I'll show you what that is right now. So, wherever you are, country, city, wherever, you can always find an object like this out there. I do rubber crosses, or whatever the name you want to call it. Kind of rub your arms across that, just like that. Rub your hands and rub your arms across the tree, whatever. Just do that. Just do rubber crosses like that. And so you're probably asking me, what's that for? So let's say you're running and you trip and fall. Just I don't know what happens with you trip and fall. Let me show you a demonstration of something real fast. So that was like a tuck and roll. So you get your arms and hands ready. In case you trip and fall, you don't want to fall and strike your wrist and break your arms or anything if you hit the ground or fracture anything. So you make your body like an arc to roll around on the ground. So if you trip and fall, you don't want to hit flat. You want to roll and keep your momentum going. You don't want to strike the ground hard. So that's something I'm always willing to talk to anybody about. Like I said, you want to mess with me. You want to make your body become an arc and roll. You don't want to hit the ground hard. I always want to keep your momentum going. And one good story I had here, I was running barefoot. A lady let her dog out. This dog weighed about 90 pounds came out full blast ran toward me so this is something zero for. point five so the dog came out full blast and I saw him running after me so I slowed down but the dog clipped my legs when he clipped my legs I automatically had to go into that arc and roll myself out so as I said this is just me talking to you guys and sharing some of the things I do for self-protection when you're out there running of course barefoot so another thing you do or well, I do I'm sorry with crash is purposefully I purposely run on these rocks picking my foot up putting it down picking it up putting it down almost like you're doing a little light march that is the landing you want to have you've seen us go on those runs on those zero point on those trails so you do this right now to condition yourself so when you go out on those trails that you will be prepared for it Pick your foot up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Don't drag, because if you drag your foot across these rocks, it could be a sharp thing that could wedge itself into your toe. Condition your toe, condition, 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 condition your feet, condition, condition, condition. Because when you're out here running, look at this, like glass and stuff like this, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. As you condition your foot to do this, uh, when you start off the bottom of your foot starts off soft, but as you're running on the concrete, your foot will develop its own callus as you're running. And that callus also helps to protect the bottom of your foot. There was one time I was running and I finished and I said, oh man, I feel like I had a splinter in the bottom of my foot. I looked down and it was an enormous uh, box staple. I don't know if you guys know what a box staple is. Shaped like 
that like a big giant C, but it was wedged in the bottom of my foot. But because I had conditioned my foot so much, it felt like it was a little tiny splinter. I got home, pulled it out. I had to take a picture of it, but I don't have that picture now because that was a long time ago. But those are just the testimonies of foot conditioning. So as I said before, this might not be for everybody, but this is what I do to survive as I'm out there running 99% of the time with absolutely no shoe, no special sandals, no zero shoes, no five finger, five toe shoes, none of that. Completely, mostly barefooted 99% of the time is what I do. Something about the grounding, earthing, connection with the ground that I'm just absolutely addicted to. It makes you feel great when you're done. Do I get injuries? Or what's the injury? The no shoes versus with shoes? Equal, equal? I will say I probably got more injuries with the shoe on than with no shoes. I know it's hard to believe, but that's just my testimony and my story. One mile, 16. Also guys, just to let you know too, sometimes when I'm just on these parts where there's nothing out here, I like to just rub my foot on the bottom of the ground to kind of get any excess dead skin off the bottom of my foot. Any type of stone or uh, exfoliating rocks, something just to get the dead skin off your foot so your foot doesn't look like, as I said before, a beast from the X-Men. Because I know we're running barefoot, but we don't want our foot to look like we're some kind of creature out there. So anyway, that's it for this morning. Something short, just wanted to talk to you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel at the bottom. Faces of Dave, Barefoot Running People, David Scoggins. If you're not doing anything, get up, get out and do it. Be happy, enjoy life, be you. Please subscribe. I'm looking for more members of the family. Take care of yourself. Have a great running morning.